The bucolic quiet of Amish country in Ohio isn't the first place you'd think to go when tackling a global pandemic, but that's exactly what happened. The Cleveland Clinic has 55,000 employees plus visitors, and they needed masks. We couldn't get them anywhere, so the solutions had to be local. So they turned to nearby Holmes County and the country's largest Amish community. And while the Amish reject most modern technology, including TV, one man agreed to this rare interview. A request was made, and just that fast, the Amish community responded. We do try if there's a need somewhere. Maybe an example would be a fire or a, or a sickness in a family. We do try to get together and we try to help, and uh, here we're in need for a, our neighbors. So if the Amish could raise a barn in a day, surely they could mobilize to make masks. We have four girls in our house, and uh, they can all sew. So did you ask them to be a part of this? They are a part of it. Three of the girls and mom. So, so four? Yeah, not, and... not myself. In this 20-mile radius, there are 5,400 Amish households with an estimated 10,000 seamstresses. Have them here, and then we deliver by the box. So boxes of supplies were quickly assembled and distributed. Operation Stop COVID-19 was in full swing. In 48 hours, the Cleveland Clinic had 12,000 masks, eventually 150,000 of them. Then, companies where the Amish work stepped up too. Dutchman Hospitality offered to launder masks. Berlin Gardens switched from making lawn furniture to as many as 150,000 face shields a day. And Kine Lumber Store is handling logistics. The Amish care deeply about other people and are very giving, and this is a natural way that they want to give back to the larger society. The Amish term for those of us outside the community is the English. And now, the English have masks and gowns and shields that global supply chains simply couldn't provide. Community is what you're about. Uh, we are a tight-knit community, and uh, I guess we were taught that from our youth helping each other out, and uh, we try to continue and plant that in the next generation and continue helping each other. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.